Here we're Hinch Thursday night training ahead of Wingate Finchley away on Saturday. Great atmosphere in camp tonight, Hinch. Yeah, there, there, there has been all season to be fair. Um, you know, one one thing we won't won't do is get too carried away uh, with one result. Um, but yeah, if, if they're not confident after after Saturday, then they never will be. After that nine-one win, a lot of ten, a lot of attention on the club and then some individuals in the team. How's everyone taking it in their stride? Yeah, like, don't don't seem no different. Like I say, they've they've trained really well all season to be honest. Um, like Mick's been on my case really, just to try and get what he sees from them and training out on a on a Saturday uh, afternoon. And I think we've got a little bit of that um, Saturday. So be keen now to to keep that momentum going, that confidence. Uh, going now for the rest of the season. Looking back on the game, is there anything that you missed on game day? Was there anything you were pleased with that you didn't sport? Anything you weren't too pleased about? No, I was obviously disappointed to go to one all. Um, you know, didn't the game go either way? I think the difference being that we just go in at half time three one up when previous games maybe we've gone in two one down. Um, so that's a big sort of shift in, in momentum that we take into the second half then. Um, I think that's a, a crucial um, stage of the game and what, what happened really. So you know, we're not expecting Jesse to smack run in from 30 yards away from Oli, but you know, we've got to be ruthless and take our chances when they present themselves. It's, it sounds like and looks like Wingate's a hard place to go and get a result. I think they've picked up a fair few draws in recent weeks. Are you just hoping that we carry on with that confidence we showed here at Woodside? Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's a nice place to go and play football actually. Um, Wingate, it's a nice set up there. Um, so yeah, we, we look forward to it, but you know, it's going to be a tough test if we just think it's, you know, um, going to be the, the same as, as Saturday, then we're going to be in for a big shock. Um, so we won't let them do that. We want them to be confident, but not complacent, and that's a, that's a fine line and a fine uh, margin to, to work from. But um, yeah. Uh, I say it's going to be a tough test, tough place to go, but one that we're sort of relish and looking forward to. Looks like you've got a lot of numbers out here. A few boys that haven't trained in a long while, have, haven't been involved in a long while out here tonight training, so maybe a few decisions to make for the weekend. Yeah, there is, yeah. yeah we've got Joel and, and, and Alfie. Joel will come back from his knee injury. Um, he's out a couple of weeks with that. Um, Alfie's been back training now. I've been trained for a week, uh, trained last Thursday and done a bit Saturday, so he's one that potentially could um, get some minutes. Um, so, yeah, it'd be nice to get Get, get, the, get the lads back and um, you know, have those tough decisions to make. That's, that's what we want now for now to end the season. I've seen on Twitter that Ricky's away with England Colleges. Is he back for the weekend? Is he is he around? Is he available? Yeah, um, I believe he gets back um, either today or tomorrow, so he should be back for Saturday, um, which will be a big bonus for us. Um, just off, obviously have to monitor how much football he's played over there. Um, you know, we don't want to burn him out by playing him too much, but you know, he's, he's becoming a big player uh, for us, um, having big impacting games, and you know, uh, we'll have to look at that closely. Cheers, Inch.